If you want to see more videos about Firebox, then uh, give this video a like. So if you saw my first video and you're anything like me, when you saw that picture of Ernie, you probably said to yourself, holy crap, I want one of those. From what I understand so far, Firebox acts like a browser, like a web browser, and it picks up files that are served from a server. Right, so what does this mean? Well, you basically have two main options. The first one is to host your own file. Your second option is to have the file hosted by somebody else. So there's somebody called Lee Nolan, and uh, he's created a website called firebox.oculus world.com and if you go there he can actually help you host your file and uh, he provides us kind of small front end to edit your f video well I don't even know what those files are called but the file that describes your room um, he provides a front end so that you can edit the text on the browser so that's quite convenient and I'm going to show you how to use the firebox oculus world.com website and later on I might try and host it myself on my own blog uh, see how it goes. So after you've got your Firebox installation working and uh, you can walk around, what you need to do is go to www.firebox.oculus-world.com. I'll put the URL in the description. And you need to sign up with them. And after you've signed up, you'll get to this page. What you can then do is look at the sample code that Lee's provided and just copy that and uh, paste it into your room. Uh, and basically that's it, you're ready to go. Um, at the top here you can see the URL that the page will be served at um, and what you need to do is go back into the uh, Firebox installation, uh, start the world, uh, hit the tab button and uh, when you hit the tab button it'll give you an option to enter a URL. Um, just type in the URL that's there and you'll be able to enter, uh, well you'll be able to access the virtual room that's being created. So here's an example of where uh, I've edited the file slightly. Um, I've got an image from the logo on my blog and I've just stuck it here so you can see it in the assets tag and uh, you can see it's down here as well and you state which asset you want to use and where you want to put it and its scale and uh, further information. If you want more information about uh, the syntax just go to the Firebox uh, blog itself and uh, there is a early specification for how to read these things but anyway going back as you can see here what's happened is that the image I've specified in the file now appears in the room so with these kind of basic building blocks you can see how you could create something that's pretty uh, pretty interesting uh, yeah have fun